This conference will now be recorded. Now you can go ahead, ma'am. You can continue. Ma'am, are you there? Hello, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, you are audible. You can continue. Interrupt you, Sibam. Yes, yes. Sibam. Yes. Yeah, you please unmute your mic because many disturbance will occur in the chat box. All are not clear voice from ma'am sides. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, please wait two minutes. Shivam can just turn me to your mic. Yeah, ma'am, you continue. Okay. So, definition of biotechnology. Biotechnology, which covered both traditional and modern molecular biotechnology, according to EFB, European Federation of Biotechnology, biotechnology is the integrated use of biochemistry, microbiology, and engineering science in order to achieve technological application of the capabilities of microorganism, culture cell, tissue, and parts 
there on next slide in this slide various application of biotechnology in the field of agriculture next slide please so application of biotechnology in the field of agriculture we all know that india is an agricultural country and the population of india is 135.26 crores so we all are know that our india is 70% based on the agriculture so biotechnology play a vital role in the field of agriculture and it help to enhance productivity and also provide low production cost so the first genetic modified plant that is favor saver tomato was developed through the use of anti sense rna technology to regulate the expression of the enzyme polyglactoureonase is ripening tomato fruit this enzyme is one of the most abundant protein in ripe tomato fruit and responsible for the softening of tomato transgenic plant important in a variety of purposes like resistant to fungal bacterial viral insects and other diseases and also grow in environment conditions like high salt metal condi uh, condi uh, containing soil it is next slide biotechnology also made a bio pesticide which is better than chemical pesticide we all are know chemical pesticides are harmful to the environment and it also toxic to the environment and it also impact in our health so bio pesticide is the best pesticide for the agriculture purposes bio pesticide is environment friendly and it has non toxic in nature and it and it does not affect the water body compared to chemical pesticide the most am i audible yes kaushal kumar can you please mute your mic it's a humble request to your kaushal kumar hello yeah kaushal it's a humble request to you can you please mute your mic kaushal clear so please yeah ma'am you continue hello ma'am continue please bt uh, so bt cotton is the example of bio pesticide it is a genetically modified organism or pest resistant plant next slide application of biotechnology in the field of environment we all are know about the environment condition all over the world so the biotechnology role in the environment field is important to us plastic pollution and its solution it also in biotechnology the plastic eating microbes and bioplastic are the solution to plastic pollution the uh, um, plastic eating microbe that is indonella sequences is the bacterium from genus indonella and fam uh, indonella and family
Yamadani Shi capable of breaking down and also consuming plastic. Next slide. Biotechnology application in the field of waste utilization. And the best example is vermicomposting. We know vermicomposting are made up of waste material, either it is kitchen waste or agricultural waste. Next slide, please. And the vermicompost is the base compost and it is very important and better result in crop uh, in an agricultural field and also in your in our home gardening plants next slide application of biotechnology in the field of healthcare next slide These are vaccines which are available to different diseases like cholera, diphtheria, hepatitis, dengue, etc. Next slide. And the most important vaccine which is in progress that is COVID-19. Next slide. Application of biotechnology in the field of forensic science. In forensic science, a basic principle or a fundamental principle say every contact leave a trace. So biotechnology play a vital role in the field of forensic science investigation. We all are know in a crime scene. There are different biological samples are present. So if we if we find a sample of blood and hair, sorry, root hair, so we extracted the DNA from these biological samples, and next we isolate DNA from these samples, and now these samples are uh, uh, use of enzymes we are uh, cutting this uh, this dna into a small fragment and then uh, then the use of gel electrophoresis we separate our dna fragment and then uh, then these fragments from the gel to sheet of a membrane that is blotting technique and this technique we use the probe membrane with DNA fragments that complement the DNA sequence of the fragment of interest. Compare the fragment profile of the evidence DNA and those of the suspect defective and the victim see if they match. So in, uh, in, in this figure the last in the in the last ha ye sahi hai in the uh, in this figure we see the different bands pattern evidence dna suspect 1 suspect 2 victim and other so the evidence dna band is similar to suspect 2 so we say suspect 2 is suspect 2 is hello hello yeah ma'am you Am continue ma'am yeah yeah you audible ma'am you continue so, suspect, uh, suspect 2 is uh, uh, evidence evidence dna is same to suspect 2 so we say that suspect two is the suspect two is match multiple times. Then it 
very likely that the evidence DNA came, uh, came from the suspect too. Next slide. Application of biotechnology in the field of industry. In industry, in industry, there are many products like antibiotic production, vaccine production, beverages like alcohol. These all products these all products are made in these industries. So the Alcohol was probably the first product of ancient biotechnology. Hello. Next slide, please. Recombinant DNA technology. It is also called genetic engineering. It is the technique that enables the DNA from different source be identified, isolated, and recombined. So new characteristics can be introduced into an organism. Next. Some important terms used in RDT, that is recombinant DNA. The term recombinant DNA refers to a new recombination of DNA molecules that are not found naturally. Clone. Morphologically and genetically similar individuals are called clones. And the vectors are DNA molecules capable of autonomous replication in a host organism into which a gene is inserted to construct a RDNA molecule. And what is cloning? A cloning is a process where a section of DNA is inserted into a plasmid and they allow to replicate it in suitable host. Example, bacteria to produce multiple copies of DNA using host machinery. Next slide. In this figure, steps are the common in DNA technology. Next slide. In step one, Firstly, identification and isolation of gene of interest or DNA frag uh, fragments to be cloned. And the second step, insertion of, insertion of these isolated genes in a suitable vector. And the third step, introduction of these vector into a suitable organism cell called host. And step four, selection of the transformed host cell. And the step five is multiplication or expression of the introduced gene in the host. Next slide. In the next session, electrophoresis, SD space, and PCR with principal materials method and applications. Uh, hello, next slide. Are also covered in the next session. Next slide. So, electrophoresis is a technique in which the migration and a separation of charged particles under the influence of electric field. Next slide. PCR, that is polymerase chain reaction. Next. Next slide. Next slide. Polymerase chain reaction is a technique used to make many copies of specific DNA region in vitro. In the previous slide, the three steps in polymerase chain reaction. Next slide. SDA space electrophoresis, that is sodium dodecyl polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Next slide. Next. SDA space is a high resolution technique used to separate protein according to the mass. And these three techniques are elaborate in the next session with
principal materials method and also its application so thank you and if you have any questions please comment on your chat box Am I audible now? Hello. <clears throat> Thank you, Jyoti, ma'am, for this interactive session. Voice is not clear. You can ask your questions in comment box. Thank you for the informative session. I request our students, if you have any queries, you can ask in comment section. I request every participant to please keep your mic mute. If you have any queries, you can ask in the comment section. Gen C C S is asking, according to ma'am, which one is the best field in biotechnology to explore in career? Hello, ma'am, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Jan C C S पूछ रही है कि which one is the best field in biotechnology to explore in career? Biotechnology में सबसे अच्छा The base field in biotechnology, all fields are good. Uh, it depends on your interest. And oh. the scope of biotechnology, you hello, am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. You can continue. So, hello, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Someone is asking, ma'am, what is absorption? Please repeat your question. What is illusion and absorption method? What is absorption and illusion method? Yes, ma'am. The illusion method is used in uh, chromatography uh, to elude your particles and the absorption and ad adsorption is the two different things. Hello, am I audible? So yes, ma'am, you are audible. In which some, uh, something uh, takes in other, uh, another substance. Ma'am, I request to please keep your mic mute. I request Jyoti ma'am to keep your mic mute. So because of some connection issues, sound uh, sound today is not that much clear. So <clears throat> I am going to read some of the questions. So basically, uh, Ananya is asking, could you please explain Eliza? 
हेलो सो अलाइजा अलाइजा इज ए टेक्निक वेयर सेवरल टेस्ट लाइक टी थ्री टी फोर थायराइड स्टूलमेटिंग हार्मोन दिस काइंड ऑफ टेस्ट आर अंडरटेकन इट इज काइंड ऑफ एंटीजन एंड एंटीबॉडी इंट्रैक्शन वेयर सेवरल प्लेट्स आर देयर You can uh, place your uh, reagent along with your. Hello. Please keep your mic mute, ma'am. Could I repeat this question? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Someone is asking what is Eliza. Eliza. Eliza is the enzyme linked immunosorbent assay technique. Please explain, ma'am. Please explain what is the. So it is a plate-based assay technique. Uh, uh, it is designed for detecting and uh, quantifying uh, soluble substances uh, such as proteins, antibodies, and hormones. And it is uh, also called a uh, uh, enzyme immunoassay technique. Okay. Question, you can directly read questions in comment box, ma'am. Repeat your question, please. Ananya is asking. So, is Eliza analogous to affinity chromatography? So, why it is not clear? Please repeat your question. Hello. Eliza is analogous to affinity chromatography. हेलो आई रिक्वेस्ट आवर ऑर्गेनाइजर टू प्लीज पुट पुट द अटेंडेंस फॉर्म इन द कमेंट सेक्शन टुडेज कनेक्शन इज नॉट दैट गुड I request our coordinator Ardeep. You can continue. You can coordinate the program. I request every participant to please fill the attendance form.
those who have filled the form can leave the meeting i request everyone those did not still fill the form please fill the attendance form
I request to Amit Kumar, please end the session. Amit, are you there? Amit, yeah, okay. Okay, please okay, end okay. the session. I think I think all are feeling.